What is going on, Brotherhood? Welcome to a brand new Battle Pack figure review. Today we have from Mattel Battle Pack Series 54, Tyler Breeze and Fondango, the Fashion Police. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got these brand new battle pack from Ringside Collectibles using discount code UNDISPUTED to save 10%. I also did pick up a few new retros, but uh, you guys will be seeing them soon. I'm not going to do a review on them, but I think I am going to be doing the uh, long-awaited room tour very soon. So I'll show them off in there. I've already hung them on the wall next to the previous series. I just didn't think you guys would care to see another unboxing of retros and basics. I know you guys more care about elites. So I figured I'd just do a casual review of these figures because they're actually looking pretty fresh. Gotta love that white, and you know, that MDT style white. He loves his white, and I think these look pretty clean. So you can see a shot of Breeze and Dango there. Looks like they're trying to go for the sailor sort of outfit that they had. I think that's what they're going for. I don't know, maybe they did have a white police outfit on a random episode of uh, Raw or SmackDown. On the back, anyways, you can see all these superstars available in this set. We got Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns, Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. Who remembers that feud? Because God, it was terrible. And uh, Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. In my opinion, this is the only one that I really needed. Just to, for, you know, prediction, fantasy booking videos. Gotta have some updated Breezango. And uh, believe me, it's been a long time since my Breezango has been updated. But uh, hopefully we do get an elite set of these very soon. That'd be really nice. But uh, I don't know whether that's going to happen. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the packaging. Here we have the new Fashion Police Basic Battle Pack, whatever you want to call them, figures out of the packaging. And I got to say, these figures do look a lot better out of the packaging than in the packaging. Just because of some of the details that uh, you can't really see on the sides and on the back of the figures. Just give you guys a bit of a preview there. There's actually some pretty nice writing and stuff. Oh, Fondango doesn't like to stand apparently. I had a lot of trouble trying to stand this figure up actually, so uh, yeah, that's why basics suck. Not as good as elites, but yeah, he's going to fall again. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and get into these guys. We're going to start off with uh, Tyler since he actually would like to stand. So taking a closer look at Tyler Breeze, starting off with this head scan. It's the same head that I believe we've gotten on every single Tyler Breeze, so I would like to see them uh, come out with a new Tyler Breeze head scan, but I can definitely see Tyler Breeze in there. It's a very strong head scan. He does have his ponytail on the back like we've seen on his previous figures. We're in this white outfit, you can see the gold buttons on the front, and he's got like the patches on his shoulders. Nothing on the back of the top. Moving on to the tights, he's got some white tights on, they've got some belt details there, with some black squares and the gold belt buckle. On the back you see a uh, fashion popo right on his ass there, and then uh, going down on his uh, leg here it says fashion line do not cross, so I kind of like that detail, that's pretty nice. We got no color on his tassels or uh, boots, which I don't know if I like that really. I would have liked to have given us the uh, actual proper police attire, but uh, it's not really a bad figure. It'll work for an updated breeze until we get elites. Now let's take a look at Fondango. Here we can see Fondango, and I think it is probably the weaker of the two figures in my opinion. The main reason for that is the chest. They did that thing where they like to mold it in the color of his top and then paint the flesh tone over top. So uh, yeah, it looks kind of off compared to the head and the arms. Uh, but the head scan is, I believe, the same as his previous elites. Although it does have a little bit of a different paint job done to it. If you can see here, I've got my other Fondango, and he's got more of a brown hair and a brown beard. And Mr. Uh, Floppy Legs here has got a black beard and hair, so that's uh, at least a little bit of a repaint, so that's kind of nice. He's got black wrist tape on. He's got two gold buttons on the front of his vest there, and the same uh, shoulder style patches on the top of uh, his shoulders. He's got more of a long pants look going on, like that's just what he wears. Breeze now has actually gone to shorts, so hopefully we do get that if we do get elites of these guys. And then uh, it says fashion line do not cross, same thing as the Breeze. And then uh, he's got his little pose right there. And it's the same thing on the other side, you know, the fashion popo. So it's, uh, it's alright, not a terrible figure. But anyways, those are the uh, review for the figures. Now we're going to get into some comparisons and then go and wrap this thing up. First comparison here, we got my uh, new fashion police Fondango next to my other Fandango. And I believe this was his first ever basic. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think this was his first figure. So it's definitely an update from that one. So uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have that guy for uh, predictions and stuff like that. Uh, but this is a decent figure. Personally, I gotta give it to this one though. I think the uh, repainted head looks a lot better than the brown hair. It just looks a lot more accurate to him in my opinion. Uh, but overall, neither one are really bad figures. It really sucks about the new articulation. I can't stand that. But uh, at least I've got Fashion Police updated so I can do the uh, fantasy bookings and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I think overall, definitely going to be into that Fashion Police Fondango. And here we have Tyler Breeze right next to my previous Tyler Breeze, which in my opinion is the best Tyler Breeze Mattel has made so far. 
This thing really should have been an Elite. There's some amazing details on there. So uh, yeah, I've got to hand it to the gold Tyler Breeze between the, uh, it and the Fashion Police one. This one is pretty good. I do love Tyler Breeze a lot, fellow Canadian, and he's a very underrated wrestler. He was great in NXT. But I just love the uh, molded on tassels with all the detail, or the armbands, whatever you'd like to call them, the gauntlets. And the, even this part that goes down on his leg is like molded on, and I just love the gold and black and red color scheme. Looks very, very nice. So I gotta hand it to this Tyler Breeze when it comes to uh, which Tyler is better. And here you can see them next to Roman Strowman, arresting him with a fashion violation. Overall, these figures are pretty strong. I think I'm gonna give them a solid 7 out of 10. Just because I feel like that Fondango uh, paint really brings it down. We should have gotten new head scans on this attire. And oh my god, this thing doesn't want to stand up. But uh, they're all right figures. If you want to get updated fashion police, I think those are the way to go. So that's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe down below. Like the video if you did enjoy. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.